What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. So Konami actually added a lot of national team players and and uh, I think they're going to add a lot more. I think genuinely we're going to get France, Germany, Italy, uh, all those kind of teams for, you know, the, the World Cup event. I think they will try to tie that in with the big update that is coming in November, which, you know, ties in specifically on those dates, right? So we did actually get three new national team selections now obviously when you look at the epic juventus cards you look at the worldwide player of the event uh, or the worldwide player of the week and you look at manchester city's players here you're going to say you know you've got your salah at 97 overall and then you go to these three which are the indonesian malaysian and thailand national teams um you're going to be thinking, yeah, I mean, these aren't even going to be worth your while, right? But they are given a couple of free ones. And when I actually went in and started to look at these and, you know, look at some of the players in it, there is actually some really, really good players in these packs. And especially because they have got insane player levels to to, to boost up. Like you look at Sankras in here. Now, I'm going to butcher all the names here, lad. So I do apologize to anybody uh, that is listening to me pronounce these names because I am going to butcher them. So apologies before I start. But you look at this guy here, right? Attack a midfielder. He also, he also, I think, got a legend card last year. But he's got 47 levels to go, right? But he's already a 74 overall. And he's already got 80 acceleration, 84 balance, and 82 tight possession. With 47 levels to train up. And also, because they are now adding the players, uh, play style proficiency and they're setting this at 90, you don't have to worry about any stats being wasted on making the player fit into your squad. You can play out wide, long ball, a quick counter, long ball counter, possession game. Doesn't really matter. You can just fit these guys into any squad. So I definitely think on closer inspection, there are about four or five of the lads in these packs. We are going to start with the Thailand national team. And this guy is insane, right? Song Krasin. He's got double touch Marseille turn. He's got a wavering form. He is on C rating at the moment with the player update, but that hopefully will change. Scotch move, cut behind. He's got all the tricks and the, the skills you could want in his bag. And as I said, he is an attacking midfielder, but he can play all over the pitch. You can turn him into a, like a speedy wing type player, which is probably what I would do. Um... If you are struggling for wingers or you're struggling for wide players, this guy has got a load of, you know, really good uh, skills and tricks. He'll trick outside curler for being able to swing those balls in. He's also got Marseille turn, cut behind and turn, scotch move, double touch. So you're going to be able to rip it up on the wings like Vin Diesel in Fast and the Furious. You are just going to be able to tear people apart, right? With pure speed and trickery. And again, we've got a lot of players like this in this pack that on the surface, 74 overall is not good enough but when you look at the individual stats and you look over on eFootballDB.com what this guy trades into and you're kind of looking at, at this guy in a different light right so we have maxed him out here 47 levels overall 85 speed 91 acceleration 85 ball control 90 dribbling 93 tight possession 83 pass 95 balance and then of course he's got unwavering form and he's got all the play style proficiency he can slot into any team with any manager in any game plan any tactic absolutely insane 89 overall he jumps up 15 levels so yeah, I mean, this is definitely worth a look, lads. These packs are definitely worth a look. Um, and obviously, these players are going to be, I think, a little bit meta if you train them up. Now, they are going to take serious training points to train them up fully. But I definitely do think there are some hidden gems in here. So going back to give a quick glance over the rest of them, we will start back here. Obviously, guys like this, he's on A form, right? He's also got sliding tackle, interception, aerial superiority, standard form. You've got your run of the mill. You've got your run of the mill center backs as well. This guy has got 51 levels. He will train up fairly decent, obviously. You will be able to give... Uh, him a lot of boost but I think that this guy's problem is that his defensive awareness is way too low because once you start training that up you are going to have to neglect his speed and acceleration but this guy when we talk about him he's got the same problem uh, where you're talking about he doesn't have as many player skills and this guy is probably a very uh, kind of like you know he's not going to be making your your final team uh, in my opinion but you've also got uh, Tangda who's a center forward he's got 59 levels to go he's got a super sub now we will have a better option to choose from in a minute but fox in the box he can go up quite a bit as well i would say that his speed and acceleration are a little bit low because even if you pump what like 15 uh progression points into that 
you're probably not going to get the stats that you really need there you know you're not going to get the speed and acceleration up that high with the finishing there is better cards here um but this guy you know you've got a couple of mid 70s or low 70s and then you've also got a couple of nice player skills like first time shot double touch rising shot this guy can play cmf um he does have standard form but he's on b rating which is quite decent we've got a left back who is on a rating he has 49 levels overall this guy is kind of interesting enough right because he does have a lot of high levels to go plus he also has uh, pinpoint crossing and rising shot as well as long range shooting he's got a wavering form as well so if you do pack this guy with the free one that you get or you do want to get that uh, i definitely think he could be a good guy in your team if you boost him up max now on to the kind of the exciting ones right so we've got this guy here muenta uh or muenta i'm not too sure how you pronounce that but this is what i'm talking about right with hidden gems right this is what you need to be looking out for right this guy is on d rating that's fine he's not going to cause too much hassle uh, to your opponents when he's on d rating right but he's got super sub okay he's 19 years of age and he's got a base stat of 77 acceleration 75 speed and he can play center forward with 59 levels to train right so when we actually go to his player uh, card over any football db and we max him out you're going to be getting a 90 speed 92 acceleration with 77 finishing 80 kicking power and 91 balance as a super sub so if you're looking for something different and you're looking to kind of you know confuse your opponent and not bring on your traditional Haaland or Chiesa or whoever you want as a super sub coming on you want to throw a bit of a spanner into works to your opponent and make him kind of guess what you're going to be doing this guy could be a little bit uh op and really really decent as well as a striker he kind of reminds me of daca or nunez when the game first launched back in eFootball 2022 so moving on to the next pile then we have a pile of players we have got a goalkeeper unwavering form 70 reflexes he's got 53 levels he trains up very decently as well and then we also have tristian adu he trains up extremely well as well so rinse and repeat what i just said the last time on that left back this guy is just a faster version of him for right back and he can play right wing as well and then we also have yu yen who we will take a look at here as well this guy is actually this guy is a bit exciting lads right because he's got a lot of player skills he's got a wavering form he's on b rating he's got one touch pass he's got low lofted pass he's got captaincy and when we train him up we'll max him out we are going to be getting a nice 79 acceleration but we have 88 defensive engagement, 90 balance, 87 stamina, low pass, loft the pass. Some of these players have very unique stats and very unique attributes, such as the balance, such as the speed, such as the mix between defensive engagement, tackling, aggression. Like some of these players in all the packs, like the Malaysia pack, the Thailand pack and the Indonesia pack, they have some extremely unique stat combinations is what I'd say. And then last but not least, we do have this guy, uh sarashat who is very very decent as well i think he could probably be my pick of him you because you can train him up in so many different ways he's 23 he's got scotch move he's got first time shot one touch pass he has got marseille turn he's got penalty specialist and gamesmanship 81 acceleration and 78 speed so you know what's going to happen when you train him up we actually don't need to train his uh, stats too much up we just give a couple to uh, lower body strength and dexterity as i said we are working on the lads are working on a new update for this uh, to have the stats more in line with what they are in game 86 speed 89 acceleration ball control dribbling type possession all very decent low pass very decent again you can reduce reduce the speed and up the passing if you want to have him as a pass first kind of player but for me i think his balance his stamina everything is superb there for a player that you could potentially get for free so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon with the rest of the packs there the full packs there we'll be back quite soon with the malaysia and the indonesia there's a couple of hidden gems in there as well including this guy who looks absolutely insane like 47 levels he doesn't have any player skills but he's got speeding bullet and he can play center midfield as well with 79 acceleration but we'll get into that in the next video so if you guys are enjoying these let me know in the comments below and i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos including my hidden gem series i will be doing some more squad builder soon and any recommendations you guys have or anything you want to see from me going forward let me know we will talk to you later have a good weekend